it's Pelair today and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys the 5 best grunge effects to use for your music videos in After Effects basically so yeah, I'm very excited for this video it's going to be packed with grunge effects and uh, I think you guys are going to really like it I'm also trying out some new camera settings here so uh, feel free to uh, give me your thoughts guys down in the, uh, the comments But if you guys don't know who I am, my name is Pelle Sjöberg I'm from Sweden, I've been editing for almost 10 years now And I'm also running the website called editingvisuals.com Where I have a bunch of editing packs that's going to help you out with your editing And it's going to save you a lot of time, trust me And uh, yeah, if you guys want to check that out, there's going to be a link in the description down below Now, let's start with the tutorial so here I'm in After Effects, I've added my footage here, I'm going to be displaying these effects on. So yeah, let's start with the first grunge effect, and this grunge effect is going to be no plugins, the first one. So uh, if you guys might not have any plugins, this is going to be perfect for you. Uh, and it's a very, I would say, default, a little bit low-key grunge look. It's not, it's not some crazy grunge, grunge everywhere, you know, in, in the video, it's going to be a very subtle... Uh, but still good looking grunge in my opinion So what you're going to be doing is basically starting off by making a adjustment layer And you can do that by pressing ctrl alt y I'm going to be starting off by adding one of the most important effects to create the yeah, grunge aesthetic And that effect is called noise And you can use different kind of noise effects You can use the normal noise here uh, There's also add grain in after effects And then if you're using plugins, there's a bunch more if you use Sapphire and stuff like that. But here I'm going to start off by increasing the noise. So I'm going to set it to, I would say, 50 is good. So we get a pretty strong noise here. And I'm still going to be using the uh, color noise so we get a little bit RGB touch to this grunge effect. After that, I'm going to be adding mosaic. And this is basically to downscale our footage and make it a little bit worse quality. And this is also going to make our noise... Uh, a little bit bigger as well. So I'm going to start off by setting the horizontal blocks to 400 and the vertical blocks to 400 as well. So now you guys can see the quality becomes a little bit worse and the noise is a little bit bigger and pops a little bit more. After that add hue and saturation and here I'm going to drag down the saturation to I would go to between minus 50 to minus 30. It depends on what look you guys want uh, but if you're gonna go more than minus 50 it's gonna be very very like black and white you will barely have barely have any colors after that so this is the original look then with the desaturated add-on it's going to look something like this and after that i'm going to be adding a flicker to this so i'm going to be adding exposure and then here we're going to be keyframing the exposure here so you can start off by maybe dragging it a little bit lower then go frame by frame so i'm gonna go one frame forward drag it up Next one, drag it down. Next one after that, drag it up. Next one, down. Then a little bit up maybe. Something like that. Try to make it a little bit more random I would say. After that, open the adjustment layer. Go to effects, exposure, master. And then here we can see our keyframes if we zoom in a little bit. And now we're going to be holding alt and then pressing the clock here. And here we have the express section up here. And I'm going to be basically typing loop out and that expression is basically going to make our keyframes loop it's going to be having this animation we created here and that's going to be looping afterwards so we will get this look here and then to make it a little bit more sharper this grunge effect i'm going to be adding on a sharp mask and here i'm going to set the amount to 100 and then the radius to 3 and as you guys can see this is going to make the edges and the details pop a little bit more so this is how our first default grunge effect is going to look here I think it's very clean, very, you know, low-key, not a, you know, crazy grunge effect. Uh, and it's, as I said before, no plugins. If you guys want to make it a little bit more grunge here, you, can, you guys can go up to noise and then increase the noise. You can to create this look here. A little bit more grainy and stuff like that. I'm gonna keep it at 50. And now the first uh, grunge effect is done. Now let's make the second grunge effect here. So we can make the default grunge invisible. And then we can make a new adjustment layer by pressing Ctrl Alt Y. So this second grunge effect we're going to be making is going to be having a little bit more color, a little bit more glow to it. So basically a glowing color grunge effect. I think you guys are going to like it. So uh, yeah, let's make it. We're going to start off by adding vignette here. And then I usually like to 
make the angle of view pretty strong so I'm gonna set it to 70 so this is going to be the difference so far it's a pretty big difference after that obviously going to adding noise then now set it to 75 so now we're going to making the noise even stronger as well after that add post rise then set the levels to 2 and as you guys can see this is going to get rid of some of the noise and uh, it's going to yeah increase the contrast i would say this is before this is after after that add mosaic then horizontal and vertical blocks to 500 and then after that add fast box blur and then increase the blur radius to one just a very subtle blur effect here now i'm going to be adding the glow and i'm going to be using deep glow 2 for this and if you guys don't know what deep glow is it's in my opinion one of the best glow plugins for after effects it has to be i mean it has to be up there to be honest it's really really good yeah the settings here we're going to be using i'm going to be decreasing the radius to 750 and then the exposure we're going to be decreasing that to 0 0.3 so this is going to be before and after really clean glow then add unsharp mask to get a more sharper look to our effect here i'm gonna set the amount to 200 and then the radius to 3 and as you guys can see now it's going to make our grunge effect much more sharper and good looking in my opinion just this unsharp mask effect this is before this is after really really clean and as you guys can see the black spots here uh, in our footage is completely <laughs> you know completely black and we want to add some noise to that so how to do that is basically to add a another noise effect on top of our effects here so add noise again and then set the amount of noise to a little bit lower than before so 25 that's good and then if you look now we will have a little bit noise on the dark areas here and then if you guys like to have a more laggy look to your footage i like to do that especially for grunge effects i want to have my okay depending on what effect but usually i go with like 15 uh, frames per second so i usually add a post rise time effect here and then a frame rate 15 so this is the look you guys will be getting with the yeah, glowing color grunge effect here. Uh, I really really like this and uh, yeah it's for the more yeah color colorful touch to the grunge look basically. Now moving on to the third grunge effect here. So we're going to be making a adjustment layer, control alt y, effects and presets, animated presets, user presets, grunge presets and here I have a blood grunge effect. And this is how the blood grunge effect is going to look. I really like this and you can just, as I showed you guys before, simply just drag and drop and you guys will get this look in basically one size second. So uh, it's a real time saver and as you guys can see, it's going to look something like this. Absolutely amazing. And this is just one effect from the pack. So if I'm adding another adjustment layer, Ctrl Alt Y, here I could go to bonuses and here we have, for example, the dark pixel grunge. And this is how the dark pixel grunge is going to look. I mean, one of my favorite effects. Really, really love it. I can show you guys one more new adjustment layer than the super grunge effect. And this is how the super grunge is going to look. Really clean. Uh, yeah, super grunge <laughs> effect. And uh, yeah, these are just free effects from the grunge preset pack it's just a simple drag and drop with the presets into your composition you can literally apply the effects in seconds and if you guys are interested in the grunge presets it's going to be a link in the description down below and it's also going to be a little discount code there as well if you guys want to check it out now we're going to be moving on to the fourth grunge effect here so you guys are going to be making a new adjustment layer so press ctrl alt y and this grunge effect, the fourth one, is going to be a signal grunge effect and we're going to be using the signal plugin for this effect here. Start off by adding CC Vignette. And here I'm going to set the amount to a pretty strong number, I'm going to set it to 150. And then the angle of view to 70. After that add noise, set the noise to 50%. Then I'm going to be adding CC Threshold RGB. And here I'm going to drag down the red threshold to 60 around there then the green threshold to down to 80 like that blue threshold to 84 after that add mosaic here i'm going to set the horizontal and vertical blocks to 500 this is uh, how it looks so far it's a pretty pretty clean grunge effect 
so far I would say so and how to elevate this even more now is to add deep glow 2 and here I'm going to be dragging down the radius a little bit to 750 and then drag down the exposure a lot I'm gonna set it to 0 0.25 and now for the uh, main effect here we're going to be adding signal I'm going to set the signal amplification to 2 cutoff filter to 150 luma noise to 10 chroma noise to 15 then hue noise to 30 and then chroma loss to 0 0.25 I'm also going to be increasing the sharpen here, I'm going to set it to 4, so the edges are going to be popping a little bit more. Now to get rid of the tape error here, you guys can see down here, we're going to open up luma modulation and then uncheck tape errors here. So now we get rid of that, after that add fast box blur, set the blur radius to 1, and then I'm going to add unsharp mask. Here I'm going to set the amount to 200, and then the radius to 2. And after that add post rise time, and that's basically as I said before for the other effect, you're going to be adding a little laggy look to the grunge effect. I'm going to set the frame rate for this effect to 20, so it's not going to be too laggy. Some people might think 15 frames per second is extremely laggy or like too laggy. So uh, I'm going to go down 4 frames. The original is 24 FPS. I'm going to go down to 20 uh, to get a, yeah, a little laggy look just in between 15 and 24 fps basically uh, now how to get rid of uh, the red kind of uh, tile here or line uh, at the side you're going to be adding motion tile to fix that you're going to be dragging it to the top then check mirror edges then increase output out and width to 150 so now we get rid of that and this is how the signal grunge the four grunge effects is going to look here i think it's super super clean and a really good grunge effect you guys can use for your music videos and now we're going to be moving on to the last and the fifth grunge effect here so we're going to be making a new adjustment layer control alt y and for the fifth grunge effect here i had to include a opium grunge effect here which is well deserved to be in the top five for uh, the grunge effect list here I'll be making. And what I'm going to be doing here is basically start off by adding noise. I'm going to set the amount of noise to 35%. Then I'm going to be adding a threshold. And just these two effects is going to be creating a really classic and good looking opium look here. I'm going to drag down to 40 the levels here. Uh, this depends on your clip and how bright it is. Mine, I would say, is... Uh, a little bit on the darker side so uh, I'm going to be dragging down the threshold a little bit more than you guys might have to do if you have a brighter clip than mine but this is how it looks after that I'm going to be adding fast box blur I'm gonna set the blur radius to 1 add unsharp mask set the amount to 200 and then the radius to 2 so I'm get a little bit bigger uh, noise a little bit downscaled and we get these this kind of textured look to the yeah grunge effect basically if we get rid of the unsharp mask and the fast box blur you guys can see this looks very i mean it looks good but it almost looks a little bit digital like you can see like this is okay this is made this is a effect made in a editing software but when you add the fast box blur and the unsharp max i think it looks a little bit more yeah raw in a way it looks a little bit more as i said textured uh, which I really like. And if you guys want to add maybe one more effect to the uh, opium grunge effect here, you guys can add flicker. Set the amplitude to 0 0.5, color amplitude to 0 0.1. So it's going to look something like this here. A really, really clean opium grunge effect here. Um, I don't think we can finish off the video better than this. Uh, really, really like this uh, effect. And now if you guys want to save this as a preset now, uh, these effects uh, we can take the opium ground for example you guys go to the effects here press ctrl a to mark all of the effects go to animation save animation preset go into your folder name it then press save now your preset is saved and you will be able to use it for another time which is uh, very very good and if you guys like this video where i showed yeah these five grunge effects here don't forget to like and subscribe and share the tutorial don't forget to check out the grunge preset pack which I use in this tutorial here. It's going to be a link in the description down below and also a little discount code there as well. Also check out my socials, join my Discord server and I'll see you guys soon. Take care and have a nice day.